Hello, uh, in this video we're going to be talking about unit conversions. Uh, there's not really an introduction because uh, it's sort of self-explanatory, but there are some tips I can give you. Alright, so when working with any sort of uh, unit conversions, uh, one thing you're going to want to do is to uh, write out the known conversions. So let's just say from the, either the back of your book or from the problem you can extract the uh, relevant uh, information, information such as like 1 foot equals 12 inches, um, one kilogram equals a thousand grams, one minute equals 60 seconds, and then the idea is to write out all the uh, conversions you'll need and then do the uh, dimensional analysis uh, in the problem. And then the uh, next uh, tip I have is that the uh, top unit is what, you're, what you want and the bottom unit is uh, what you're going to be canceling out. So let's just say you're going from uh, unit A to unit C, and then you have, uh, you're going to multiply A by a uh, conversion factor, and you're going to want to put the, uh, uh, our next unit, let's just say it's B, and the bottom unit in the denominator is going to be the uh, previous unit, and they're going to cancel out, and then, oh, uh, doing that again, put B in the denominator, the new unit uh, on top, and they'll cancel out, and we'll get uh, in the numerator the uh, units we want. All right. And then, so for multiple unit measurements, um, you may want to uh, write separately. And what I mean by this is, if you take a look at um, either density or force, these are measurements that involve more than one unit. So density is mass over volume, and uh, force is mass times acceleration. So when working with uh, different uh, masses or volumes or masses or accelerations, you might want to calculate them individually. So first calculate the mass or first calculate the volume and then plug that in uh, into the appropriate uh, equations. And then same for force. <laughs> this can uh, be kind of confusing. Instead of doing it in one long line, you may want to uh, first just calculate your mass or calculate your force and then uh, go from there and uh, take a little a pause and then go on to the next equation. And then another tip is uh, while you're doing these, if, you, if you're uh, doing intermediate steps, uh, do not clear your calculator because let's just say you're doing a calculation and you get uh, 23.4788961. Um, so if you have that on your calculator, um, and uh, it'll likely be used again, right? And you want to keep all the decimal places. So what I would recommend is maybe on your, in your notes, write the first two or three uh, digits, and then uh, just keep your calculator, all the numbers in there. So whenever you're either dividing or multiplying this by a new value, um, you'll keep every single uh, decimal place. All right, so let's look at some specific examples. These ones will be pretty uh, straightforward and not too difficult. So how many inches are in a marathon? And a marathon is uh, 26.2 miles, and they give you uh, 1 foot equals 12 inches, and 5,280 feet equals 1 mile. So they already did this step for us. They, they gave us the units that we need and the units we'll be working with. But oftentimes, you'll have to look in the back of a textbook to find all these values. So the first step is to write out what they give us, 26.2 miles. And then in the bottom, we're going to write, want to write the uh, unit we're canceling out, miles. And the unit we want is inches, but we cannot write inches yet because we do not have the conversion from miles to inches. We have miles to feet, though. So we can write 1 mile is 5,280 feet. And then our unit of uh, length is now in feet. And we have to do that again. We know that we're going to write feet in the denominator. And we want to get to inches. And we do have that correlation. One foot is 12 inches. And these will cancel out. And we have the desired unit. So just uh, punching that into your calculator and ran in, ran, uh, rounding to uh, three significant figures, we get... 1,660,000 inches. Okay, pretty straightforward. 
Moving on to uh, another problem. This one's uh, a little more involved. Okay, so what is the weight of an object in newtons that has a mass of 0 0.452 short tons if uh, 453.5 uh, 93 grams equals 5 times 10 to the negative fourth short tons. Okay, so they give us one of the uh, necessary con conversion units. So this is one, since we're dealing with uh, weight and it's in newtons, that's going to be a force. So force equals mass times acceleration. So in this case, we have a uh, force in newtons, and that's going to be kilograms times meters per second squared, okay? And uh, what I always like to do is write what, we, uh, what we're given, or uh, our starting value. So we're starting with a mass of 0.452 short tons, okay? And we're going to want to uh, get this unit of mass into kilograms. So we can go from short grams to grams because of the unit conversion provided, and then we can go from grams to kilograms, and that'll be good. And acceleration. So this is, uh, most of the time they expect you to know this, and you might know this from physics or another course. Uh, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So that'll usually be the case, the acceleration due to gravity will be 9.8 meters per second squared, unless uh, otherwise specified. Okay, so if you write this out, we have a 0 0.452, I'll just write uh, tons, we know that's uh, short tons, and we're given the conversion 5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Short tons is equivalent to 453.593 grams, and then uh, another common unit conversion is that there are a thousand grams in one kilogram. And we now have our mass value, so you see that the tons, tons, grams, grams cancel out, and we get our desired unit, kilogram. And we have the value um, 410.048. So this is the the part where in your notes you can just write maybe mass equals 410 kilograms. But on your calculator, uh, do not clear this value. And uh, we're lucky it's, it's not very long here, but it could have been five, six, seven decimal places long. And uh, this is the part where I said do not clear. So leave that uh, value flashing on your calculator to the mass because we will use that. So force equals mass times acceleration and we have a uh, mass in kilograms which we wanted and the acceleration due to gravity is just uh, 9.8 meters per second squared so uh, we can get our uh, force or our weight in newtons that's gonna be the uh, mass we just got 410.048 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we get our results as 4,020 kilograms times meter per second squared. And one thing I do want to point out is that um, it is pretty common knowledge, or you should uh, remember that uh, one newton is equal to one kilogram multiplied by uh, meters per second squared. So we have our weight is equal to 4,020 newtons if we're rounding to three significant figures. All right, uh, thanks for watching.